Hello, and welcome back to my channel where I do whatever I want whenever I want to. And today, we are back in the village world. And it is 1.20. New skin, new blocks, new stuff. I don't know how much of the new stuff I'm going to use in here. Because most of it doesn't really make sense. Like the bamboo and the cherry wood doesn't make sense for a plains village. But if you are new here, this is what we have so far. So I've redone four of the houses out of, I think, 12 <laughs> that I want to do. Very slowly chipping our way through this. This middle part here is looking really cool. And then this part here is looking really cool. I want to work more on this street. Somebody in the comment section, I'll uh, pop it up on the screen so you can have a peek, suggested Tinker Street as a name for this, which I think is really cool. So this is the only house in here that we have so far. And this whole street is going to be about smithing. So that's like the setup that we've got here. And we're going to keep rolling with that. So this one here already has a big forge in it. And a lot of the other ones here, or at least these two, are both kind of forge-based things. So I might give them little forges, like kind of scaled down versions of this stuff, but this really encompasses a lot of what I would put in there already. So I haven't fully decided how I'm going to do that. I don't know. We'll, we'll find out as we go along, I suppose. <laughs> I'm just, I'm trying to judge based on the silhouettes of the buildings that I already have here so far. Kind of imagining a lower front part here. Maybe there's a little forge out front, kind of how the original building has. And then something rising up here. A little more of a tower, kind of to continue this thing. So like this area here will have a bunch of towers in it. And then there'll be the lower things over here closer to the road. I think that'll make an interesting little silhouette here. So I'm going to let me just grab some of this. And we're going to try to plot this out just a little bit. The last one that we did, the last house we did was this. And it is very unsymmetrical, very all over the place, right? So we're going to do something a little bit different this time. One of the nicest ways to build things like this, where there's so much texture involved, is starting with what it would look like before it aged. I'm imagining this began mostly as stone bricks, and so that's what we're going to make it out of, and then we'll kind of tear it apart and make it look a little bit more lived in and messy, because the vibe so far in this village is that it looks like it's been here for a while. Like, look at this house. Look at how sunken down the roof looks by this tower here. It looks like it's been here for a while. So we're going to keep that theme going. Right here, at this point in the tower, I want it to continue going higher, but I want to mark this area with this ring as something that needs a little bit of shape. I don't know if that means that we'll use like stairs or walls to make it come out a little bit, or if we'll push that inwards a little bit. Whatever looks good for the tower, but just to give it a little bit of definition so it isn't just up and up and up and up and up. Ooh, I'm having some inspiration while I'm doing... Okay, okay, here's what I'm thinking. Here's what I'm thinking, okay? Maybe there used to be more to this. Maybe this part is kind of like falling apart like maybe we'll have some walls here that go like this they're just kind of coming out a little bit like that and then we can have some supports maybe let's grab some of these and throw them in here a little bit like this let's see how this is looking i think i like it i think i like the vibe let's keep going Oh, I missed a spot there. Maybe that's okay, though. We can take that missed spot and maybe throw in a little bit of this, right? These always look pretty nice together. Boom. We can do that in a few other spots. Maybe we'll make that a little bit more heavy around the edges. We emphasize that the edges have fallen apart a little bit more. Oh, I can see it. I can see the vision now. This is all coming together. I'm going to take out the last of this wool and replace it with these. And there we have it. This is our beginning. I think this is going to look super cool when it's done. Oh, I'm very excited about this. Okay. Okay. I am going to fill out the shape of this and I will be back with you in just a second. And I have filled this out. So I have this little block over here on the side to mark where that middle ring was because I still want to do something with it. But we've got everything else blocked out. And while I was doing this, I was wondering if maybe we actually can use a little bit of a uh, 
1.20 stuff because I kind of forgot about a few features like this. I wonder if we can maybe throw in a little bit of that somewhere, if that would look good in this. I don't know if that's the place for it. Maybe I can do something like this because they can make really good uh, fences like that. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. I like that. And then we have a little bit of direction here. So let me get a shovel again. A netherite shovel. <laughs> and we can bring this in a little bit. Just like a so. Isn't that nice? Okay, I'm liking this a lot. I'm liking this a lot. The other thing I was thinking is in some of these other buildings like this one, we have a lot of mossy stuff going on. And there's not too much in this because I figure all the heat would prevent moss from happening, right? But if the heat is just focused up here at the front, then maybe there can be more mossiness back here. So I'm going to bring in some of this, some of this. Uh, yeah, let's get some of this and then also a little bit of tough. Okay, this is looking pretty nice so far. I like this. I like this a lot. Then we're going to do a similar kind of thing to this where some of the parts that are closer to heat are going to be cracked. And so if the heat is up here, then so too will the cracked bits. Now that we've done all this, I have to make actual choices about how this is going to look. Um, I think I'm going to grab some stairs, but we're going to make the sort of window that we've made in a lot of places in here so far, which are these little little slit windows. They have a name. I don't remember the name, but that's what we're doing. Now let's step back and have a look at this. I'm liking it so far. So now that we have all of this, we need to give these parts some shape. And I also think I might want to pull some inspiration from some of this over here. We use a lot of walls and stuff to create almost a gothlic, gothlic, gothlic look. Yeah. Uh, we're going to try to do that again. So I think, I think I'm going to replace these with stairs. You know what? What if I try to hold on? I'm having a thought. I'm having a thought. I might end up hating it, but I'm having a thought. Don't judge me until I've <laughs> tried this out. What if we throw in a little bit of this? Hmm? It's going to have to be echoed in more places to make this work. But what if we throw in a little bit of that? Huh? What if we throw in a little bit of that, and then what if we kind of do that? Okay, I want I want this one to be solid. So it would have to be like this. One, two, three. We can maybe replace a little bit here like that to make that blend in a little bit better with the moss. I'm not too mad at that. And then maybe in the floor down here, we can echo this a little bit more. I'm not usually one for completely randomizing blocks. I like to have a little bit of a story with it. And this looks like the middle of it has been worn down a lot more. And maybe the edges where all the walls, like the weight of the walls have been pressing down is a little bit clunkier. I am going to replace these back though. I don't, I don't like these anymore. Up here though, let's try to do a little bit more work on the shape. Um, I think I might go and do a little bit of stuff with this. Let's try it right here. And then in this part, I'm going to add some more of these blocks in. Now we're going to do some stone. A lot of this is just stone bricks, but we're going to add in stone. I like to put stone near the higher parts of this because it makes it look like the parts near the top. Like this has a lot of weight pressing down on it. This does not. So it's a little a little smoother, right? That's the idea. All right, now let's step back again, see how this is looking. I'm feeling like if I'm going to make the diorite work, it needs to come back a little bit more. I like that. I still want a little bit more in the middle here, but I don't know what that little bit more is. Let me browse. I'm going to come back to that. I'm going to come back to it. In the meantime, we're going to do a little bit here. And then we got to go in and replace a lot of these, make it look a little bit more interesting. And there, that's looking a lot nicer now. Let's look at how it is from down here. Uh, we definitely want to switch this stuff up. We do still need to do something about the 
this, this ring. I don't know what to do about it yet. I don't know. I just know that I don't want to get rid of it just yet. We're going to have to get up here, right? There's going to have to be, there's going to have to be a way upwards. I don't know if I want that to be, actually, I think that I want that to be like a, a central support. So let's go, let's do that now. Let's do that now. Just like so. All right, now we have a nice little central staircase and we can, I think we're going to make a weird little upstairsy stairs. What am I saying? I'm getting a, a little bit distracted still by what's going on up here and my attention is like really drawn to it. Um, I'm trying to stay focused. I'm trying and failing to stay focused. Let's have a trapdoor right here. Bada boom. Bada bang. And now we can have a really steep stair up. So these stairs can take us up here like this. And because they're so steep, it leaves us a little bit more room to work with down here where these would usually be occupied with more stairs, which is perfect. Let's, um, let's change this though to this. There we go. I like the look of that. I like the shape of that. In fact, we can probably just get rid of that there altogether and do this. Yeah, even more compact. And then we climb the stairs up to get to here. And then from here, I think we can have a ladder. Loving this more and more, loving it more and more. So I still need to figure out what to do here though. Uh, maybe, ooh, I just had a thought. I just had a thought. Let's bring back the spruik and see if we can just do a little bit of that. Does that help at all? <laughs> Does that make a difference? I like that, I do. I like that. So now let's go grab, do I have any? I do, I have some here. Let's grab this. Come here, come, come. Thank you. And we're gonna put these here. And then I think we might bring these around a few more places now that they're up there. Maybe in the other places they're a little less symmetrical and they can kind of do that. How is that looking? Kind of like they're being held together a little bit. Imagine this is like uh, medieval duct tape. That's looking pretty cool. Now, I actually want to bring a little bit of this more central right here. Not too shabby, to be honest. Let's put this here as well. Brilliant. Now, let's take these again and connect them like this. Maybe we'll put one more support there in the middle. And then the other supports can be these, like that. And now we have a nice rooftop here for this old tower. Oh, I like this a lot. Okay, let's step back and admire, huh? Oh, oh, this is beautiful. What might be up here? Maybe we'll get some barrels. Barrels is always a good choice, right? Then we can do that, and then it'll give it a little bit of shape from down here. See, just that extra, extra few pixels, and I think that's nice. So then we'll just kind of spread some more of these out like so. Now, this person in here has the furnace, right? Is this thing? Oh, it's the, it's this one, the, the smithing table, right? This person at the smithing table. So this villager, in, which also this villager is like gone. Oop. Ah! This villager has like fully moved out. None of, or maybe burnt up in there, but we're not gonna talk about that. None of the villagers like their homes. They always wanna leave. I'm hoping maybe this one will enjoy their home a little bit more. Anyways, that means, how? when did I break this? Um, This one is going to have this bad boy, the grindstone. So, oof, trying to think setup for this block. I, I consider the type of person I think these villagers are when I make their home, right? So this one felt like it was a little messier to me, hence the, all of this in here. Reminding me a lot of my hovel in Nearcraft right now. This villager over here, being the shepherd has all of the dyed wool and everything, right? So this one's space up here is very, very colorful. Oh, and you're still living here and you're running away. Of course you are. 
But that's what I'm trying to do as I'm making these homes. I'm trying to think about, okay, what is what is the lifestyle of this villager? So what is the lifestyle of the villager that would live here? This villager is making weapons, right? Living out of an old castle. I'm thinking we're going to have some of this. I don't usually use this. I don't really like this block very much. But it feels like if I were to ever use it, this would be the place. Over here is where the tools get made, right? So this is supposed to be like you would let the lava out here and it pours down through here into these molds. And so this would be like um, a hoe or an axe. And then over here, this would be like a pickaxe, right? So maybe they get shaped over there. And then over here, they get uh, ground into like their proper sharpness or whatnot. What if I use more diorite? What if I do a little bit of this? I kind of like the look of that better than these. I just, I don't really, <laughs> I don't really like those very much. I'm also gonna take some of these trap doors and put them like this, just to frame this entryway a little bit more. We can have some of these in here. So let's put one like this. We'll put another one right here. And then we'll put another one right there. There, now it's very well lit up. That's feeling better. Can I give myself invisible item frames? How do you get invisible item frames? Let me look this up, let me look this up. This should work. And there it is. Now let me get some stuff. So we can do this and then boop, just like that. Maybe turn it around a little bit. I like that. Okay, I like that a lot. And then we can do a similar thing over here. There, now we got some, some tools here. Having been made, having been sharpened. Now we have to make an interior in here. <laughs> Let's make this a, a full circle kind of thing. So you walk all the way over here to get to the bed and the nightstand. And then along here, maybe let's get some carpets, actually. Let's get some carpets in here. We can do uh, a, little, a little green carpeting, yeah? Should we have a, anything on the walls, any paintings? Let's just see if we can throw a couple of these up here. Sure, that's fine. We can have those in there, right? The other thing that we can do in this really confined space is add a couple bits of storage. So we can have a barrel up here. We can also have a little bit of a greenery. We're gonna pick this because it looks a little droopy, probably not getting a lot of sunlight up there, right? And then we can put another thing up here. There's that. And then let's grab some books to put in there. We'll just throw a few in. I've got this, um, this resource pack that makes them look 3D, which I really love. So now we have storage here, a nice little plant, and a chisel bookshelf, a bed, and a little nightstand all in this tiny little space, and then we can go up here. So then what do we want down here? Do we want anything down here? I don't know. I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say that this space is just empty. Now let's decorate this down here. We can uh, maybe have some more chiseled bookshelves. We can do a little something like this and then throw some books in here. Ooh, let's get a big pot, actually. Let's get a big pot here. I like the idea of that. We'll have a big pot and then uh, we need this on top of it so we can plant something in it. Let's maybe do one of the new ones, shall we? Look at that. We can have a little bit more storage going on. Is there anything else that I need to add in here? Because I think I kind of like where it is right now. I think I'm actually very happy with it. This is such a cool build. It's not very large, right? But there's so much detail to it. There's so much story to it. And that's what I love. Let's have a look at everything all together now. Oh, I love it. There's one more thing that I want to add today though. And that is a continuation of this sort of thing along this side of the path. So let's start a time-lapse. <laughs> This 
this is done. So, as you can probably see, I started out with archways that were a little bit smaller than this, but kind of similar, and uh, broke them apart more and more until they resemble this. So now there's a little thing framing these buildings on the opposite side of the street. I think it looks so cool. If you want to see the process in more detail that I used to do this and hear me talk about it more, go to the last video, the one for this one right here with the smithing table. Now, we have just a couple more things to do. First of all, I said that there would be a name for this street. Francis Mitchell, this one is for you. You suggested this name, and I like it. So, let's see how we can make this work. What if we uh, break this one and put a hanging sign right there? We're going to call this... Ooh. Uh, who? Huh? There we go. Tinker Street. Just like that. It's a little bit covered by these leaves. Let's do that. Tinker Street. There we go. I like it. Ta-da! And here is the start of Tinker Street. We still have two more houses to do on this street. I think it's going to look fantastic by the time that it's done. So let's just add our finishing touches here, shall we? We're going to grab some bone meal. I love to just add a little bit of plant life around here when I'm done because it you know, the building process kind of strips it of all of that natural vegetation around it. And so now we just add it back in, just like that. Let's add a little bit more back here, and then a little bit more here connecting these areas. Yes. That is beautiful. And then last, but certainly not least, we need a villager to live here. So let's grab a villager and see if this one will maybe want to live in the house that I've made for them, finally. All right, take this profession. Not any of the other ones, but this. Yes! Oh, I made a baby. Again. I keep doing this. Now, stay here. Stay in your home that I've made for you. This beautiful, beautiful home. Come inside. You see, you got, like, some storage and bookshelves, and then up here... Hold on. And... Hold on. And then up here... We have a lovely bedroom for you. See? Come check it out. Please. Please. Don't leave. Yes, you like it here, right? You're the future. Please, just stay in your house. He's not, like, running away. He's not sprinting away. This is new. He's not, like, going inside. But he's not sprinting away which is some real progress for me in these villagers. All right, that is all I have for you in this video. I hope that you enjoyed. I really enjoyed this one. And uh, let me know which profession I should do next. So this village is really taking shape now. So I will see you in the next video. Bye.